about three stations in there uh, and didn't copy uh, any of them uh, uh, Lotus Station try it again November 5 uniform at dawn there's a November 5 station come back with a call sign again thank you very much the call sign here is November 5 new United new Golf Okay, um, I got uh, a part of that. What's the name? And I am located in uh, southeast Louisiana, uh, north of New Orleans. Okay, Joe, uh, let's uh, work on our EQ here for just a minute. Uh, do you know how to get to your EQ, uh, tone, e equalization? Yes. Uh, <laughs> every time I, of course, hit the menu button, it uh, disappears, but I can, yes. So, menu, settings, uh, well, what radio are you running? Uh, I just unboxed this ICOM 7610. So, it's actually my first contact. Okay, uh, menu, settings, uh, tone. Uh, hang on, let me do that. This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, uh, the uh, Friday afternoon Kiso Vlog uh, network. Uh, right now uh, we're working with Joe on his uh, 7610. Okay, I'm here. Uh, uh, basically, it's not a parametric or an EQ, it's just bass and treble, and of course, uh, wide, mid, or narrow. Roger, Roger. So you want to be in the widest band possible. Uh, widest band possible, Roger. Okay, yes, yes, that's where it was, uh, Stanford Wild. All right, and there's, a, uh, there's a two other places uh, that will also uh, determine <laughs> your width. <laughs> I don't know why uh, ICOM does that, but there's, there's three other places uh, that uh, will also, uh, and it will default to whichever one is. you got the lowest setting, it's what it does. But anyway, let's assume that uh, you have, uh, they're all in the same mode and you're in the widest uh, 100 to uh, 2900, Roger? Yes, sir, that is correct. Okay, uh, and you're in uh, tone control? Uh, yes, sir, that's correct. All right, and the bottom end, you want to roll that uh, two clicks. Roll, roll that uh, negative uh, two clicks from where you are. Minus two from wherever you are, Roger. Okay, I set it to transmit single side band to space, minus two. All right, uh, go one more, minus three. All right, this is N5 UH, minus three. All right, let's go to the top end, uh, plus two. All right, there we are, single side band treble, plus two. All right, and then tell me about your antenna system. Okay, uh, Right now, uh, actually, I'm exciting an uh, ALS 1306. Uh, the antenna system is a uh, two-band uh, Chrisscraft uh, monoband uh, antenna, 40 meters, up about 40 feet, and pointed generally north. And by the way, the microphone is a high LPR for uh, Roger there, Joe. Okay, now let's uh, play with um, uh, your dynamic range just a little bit. I want you to uh, put your compressor on at about a three. Get your compressor on at about a three, Roger. Oh my gosh, the mentally ill are on the frequency. Please tune up elsewhere. Up three, down four, but don't tune on an active frequency. Okay, Joe, how are we doing there? KC9, the VKV, how about it, Joe? You got a copy? This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. Uh, Joe, you got a copy? 
Well, I think Joe has uh, been uh, uh, stolen by gypsies uh, at the moment, I think. Joe, do you, do you copy? <laughs> All right. Well, I've got you uh, quite low, a lot lower than what you were just a minute ago, Roger. The, uh, the amplifier kicked uh, into standing wave protection, uh, but I should be back now. Yes, you are, sir. You are indeed. All right, so you've got your uh, compressor on at about a three, Roger? The, uh, both of those settings are correct. Yes, sir. All right, now go to uh, quick and uh, pull up your uh, drive. Uh... Right on, the, right on the front of your radio, you've got a button mark quick. Okay, I see a drive gain right now at 50%. All right, take that drive up to uh, 60% and let me hear you. All right, here is N5UT, uh, drive level at 60%. All right, take it at 65%. All right, N5UG, drive level 65%. All right, then uh, tell me, um, let's see, did you tell me about your your uh, antenna system already? I think you did. Tell me about your ground system. Okay, the grounds are uh, all one common point. Uh, antenna is, well, actually, antenna is grounded at the, uh, at the tower. Uh, radio and amplifier both go to a ground underneath the operating system. Uh, which goes uh, with some um, number six wire to an eight-foot ground rod uh, outside the shack. Oh, maybe about uh, uh, 20 feet total. All right. Uh, uh, what's your uh, e top-end EQ setting right now? Uh, I, top end EQ? Um, I think we left that at a three. Uh, add two more to that. Add two more to that. You may be, uh, may be at the max point. I'm not sure. You'll be close to it, but uh, make that about a five. Uh, roger, roger. Okay, let me, let me go do that. Let me bring it up. This is KC9VKV on the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog program uh, network, and we are recording between now and five, uh, and then uh, uploading it to YouTube, where you can uh, go to YouTube and uh, check it out by doing a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. That will take you to the uh, QSO Vlog page, and on that page you'll be looking for an air check marked My Group Air Check 32219. Go ahead, Joe. Okay, I'm back. Uh, my apologies. It was not a three. It was a two. And now it's set to a plus four. All right. I think we're cooking here. Now, uh, tell me about the the best part about that radio that you like. Well, <laughs> I'm an ICOM and Yezu guy. Uh, I just uh, replaced a, a 7100 with this. Uh, the dual receivers... Uh, the selectivity, the sensitivity, the fetch screen, and if I can figure out how to get the external receive antenna to work on the back, uh, so far I haven't gotten that, and I'm going to just uh, submit a post on the QRZ or something so I can use my external receive antenna. Roger, Roger, Joe. Well, I, I think we got you there, sir. Uh, and I think you'll find it interesting when you uh, go to YouTube and uh, do that call letter search for KC9VKV. And uh, then it's uh, Mike Roof Air Check 32219. I think you'll like the uh, before and after picture, Roger. Oh, well, look, I tell you what, I appreciate the service that you perform for the amateur radio community. And I know that takes time and uh, money. Uh, I think you said you've got several SDRs there, that, uh, plus the recording space and so forth, so I won't hold it. Uh, I know there are other stations wishing to get an air check, 
And uh, thank you. Hey, I'll take this air check and see if I can get a job as a radio air personality. <laughs> thank you very much. 73, good weekend from N5 and UG. Roger, Roger, Chair. Your dynamic range is about uh, between 2.5 and, and 3 dB, so it's uh, really fat. The EQ now is uh, nice and sharp. Before it was uh, kind of uh, muddy and hard to understand. So uh, now I think you'll uh, stick out in the, uh, you know, in the QRM and uh, noise and all that stuff. Uh, so that's what we got to do is to be able to get our audio where it's uh, well defined and uh, and fat as possible, still being um, pretty pleasurable to listen to. So, Joe, threes for now. If you get a chance, um, check back in next Friday and we'll compare notes. So, threes for now. We'll catch you later. This is uh, KC9 VKV in the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog program where, uh, gosh, we record uh, between 5 and, uh, I'm sorry, between 3 and 5, 3.30 and 5 Eastern daylight time. Gosh, got to get all those facts right. And then we post it on YouTube, uh, so you can go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, and that will bring up our QSO VLOG page, and then you'll be looking for uh, today's uh, QSO, which is uh, identified as My Group Air Check 32219. 3.22.19. And we've got about uh, three minutes before five, and uh, we turn into a pumpkin about that time. So if you want to uh, get your air check in, uh, give us a call. KC9 VKV.